The next boss to kill his way to the top was Vito Genovese. He was the boss from 1957 to 1969. Vito Genovese was extradited back to the United States for the charge of the murder that took place in 1936. The charges were eventually dropped. According to prison guards, they found the star witness in Vito Genovese's case dead in his cell, with enough poison in him to kill eight horses. This, of course, made Vito a free man. After all this died down, Vito was still very upset with Frank Costello. He demoted him from underboss to a captain. Vito Genovese was so upset he planned to take Frank Costello out. As Frank pulled up to his apartment building in May 1957, on Vito Genovese's orders, hitman Vincent the Chin Giganti shot Frank. Before Vincent pulled the trigger, he said, this is for you, Frank. Vincent had shot Frank Costello in the head. Luckily for Frank, the wound was superficial. The bullet grazed Frank's head and shot right through his hat. Frank made it to the hospital, and he ended up being okay. The doorman at the apartment building identified Vincent Giganti as the shooter. This opened up a new case, and they ended up going to court for it. It was now up to Frank Costello to identify Vincent the Chin as the shooter, but Frank did not do so. When Frank was asked by the court who did it, his reply to them was, I don't know who did it. I don't have an enemy in the world. So the court had no choice but to drop the charges. After the trial, Vincent went up to Frank and shook his hand, and Vincent said, thanks, Frank. Vito dodged a bullet on all this because he was the mastermind behind it, but he knew what was coming next after what he tried to do. He knew Albert Anastasia was good friends with Frank Costello, so Vito set up a plan to take out Albert. Vito Genovese convinced Albert Anastasia's underboss, Carl Gambino, that he would be better off without his boss. Carlo Gambino was on board. He gave the contract to Joe Profacci. Joe Profacci was the boss of the Profacci crime family, which later would become named the Colombo crime family. Joe Profacci then allegedly gave the hit to the Gallo crew, led by Joey Gallo. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from my documentary series about the rise and fall of the American Mafia. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch each episode as they come out.